Welcome back, everyone. It is the finals. It is the semi-finals. Adelaide, Brisbane, Richmond, Melbourne. We are, of course, the Tigers. We need uh, the Tigers and the Ds. That's the game we're going to see. The winner will play the Swans, who we haven't beaten this season. And we actually lost to Melbourne this season twice. So this will need to be a big result uh, if we were to do that. And, of course, Geelong are already through to that prelim final after beating us in the first week of finals. We're not making any changes to the team uh, we're getting in there. It is going to be an absolute cracker. So the Tigers have won the toss. Do we want the the the, the yeah the wind at the start of the game? Clearly I do. I didn't really make the decision quick enough. And that's uh, what is going to be the end result here. So we are going to be kicking to the punt road end uh, to start off this game. And it is going to be, as we said, an absolute cracker. It is the Tigers and the Ds, who we haven't beaten this year. They're probably the most OP team in the game. Can we do it? It's Richmond, Melbourne. Semi-final action. Gorn to Oliver, out of the middle. Oh, that's a terrible start. Grundy forward. Can the Tigers repel out of defence? Grimes, his handball was dreadful. And the kick from the Melbourne player is through. They've got the first. Oh, the stress. Petrarca put it through. Just a little, little kick. Oh, dangerous ball, Lynch! This time over the top. He's definitely dropped that. Not, not, not sure why they've baited, it, but he, he will have the shot here for the Tigers first. Tommy Lynch. We'll need to have a big game today, you suspect, on Stephen May if the Tigers are going to be winning this particular game. That is a ripping ball. He didn't play, actually, in either of the last two contests, so this could be the game changer. Lynch kicks the Tigers first. Couldn't get it to Grundy. Send it forward towards Pickett. Baker put the spoil on there. Melbourne are away and they've got the out number if they can use it. Pickett goes short to Petrarca inside 50. Gone! And kick their second of the game. He does. Melbourne hit the front. Inside the 50. Graham and Martin are down there. Graham's got it. Sees Dusty leading to the pocket and he'll take the mark. And he'll line up for the Tigers second. A little bit of angle. Not too much to speak of. Dustin Martin puts it through. Richmond hit the lead. Once again, 18 minutes play. First turn. Dusty's excited. Oh, Lynch, he's just absolutely pulverised him. And now Gorundi was always going to outmark Rioli there. And Pickett got free forward of the footy for Melbourne. But the Tigers cut it off again. Rioli to Taranto's kick smothered by uh, Oliver. Back to Pickett. Inside 50. Gorn again. This is a horrible matchup, this. Because every time they go forward, he's going to mark it over Pickett. Siren sounds to end the first term. And Max Gorn gives Melbourne the lead after the quarter time siren. This time Taranto get the handball out, but it's only as far as Melbourne. Grundy. Handball, I think it might have been from Fritch. Richmond go back to go forward. Cochin from just outside 50. On the left boot, if you don't mind. Trent Cochin's kicked a ripper. Get in. Dees go inside 50. Fritch is down there. The mark has been taken. Might be by Clayton Oliver. It was. It's the midfielder pushing forward here. He's had six contested balls already. And he's now got a goal to add to that. Melbourne back in front. Seven goals. All goal for goal in this contest. And he looks for Short. Gets him. His kick up towards Nane Curvis. Turns and goes and sees Lynch inside the 50. Here, Tom Lynch. To give the Tigers back the lead. Kick on the way. And he gets it through. <laughs> I was close. I was very close. A little bit stressed. But I hadn't uh, given it enough room to come back. But that is a lovely snag. So neither team able to go on a run of goals so far in this game. As we said, goal for goal, every opportunity. Baker got the spoil over Gore. Not sure how that ended up being the matchup. And Broad has done sensationally well to keep this ball alive. Oh no, he's turned it over to Oliver. He goes inside 50 to Fritsch. Bailey Fritsch to put Melbourne back in front. He does. It's now nine goals that have been goal for goal here. Handball out of there to Bolton. Ended up with May, who goes short. That's a nice little kick, and the Ds look to press forward. Oh, almost on the second grab, the Tigers. I think it might have been Baker. But now it's Hopper. Can launch from just outside 50. Jacob Hopper! The Tigers are back in front. Oh, my goodness. What a game we've got going on here. 
plays on and sends a high footy inside 50. Hopper, Martin at the back. They just left him on his own. And Dusty will put this through, you'd imagine. The Tigers extend the lead to seven points. First time back-to-back -back goals for the day. And they're up and about again. So Young repels for Richmond. Send it in towards the middle. Melbourne opportunity. But Taranto was the one who was first to it. Bolton just slaps it round the corner. May versus Lynch. Lynch wins it and plays on straight away. Top of the goal square. Martin and Bauer. Bauer and Martin. And Curvis to Taranto. Little kick. Finds Bolton. And we're obviously very late here in the second term now. So this would be a huge opportunity for Shea Bolton. And the Tigers. His kick just goes left. Back into the middle of the ground. It's intercepted by Graham, who puts it on the boot and kicks through another for the Tigers. Very late in the second term. The lead is up to a game. I 16 points. Tigers just got to blast it forward, which is exactly what Cochin does, but it's a little bit late. Siren goes. Richmond, a really good quarter. After the first nine goals of the game, I think we're goal for goal. We've just kicked away a little bit late with the last three of the second term. So it is Melbourne 5 1 31 to the Tigers 7 5 47. What's going on in the stats? 19 12 inside 50, as we said, dominated territory in that particular quarter. And the rest of the stats are actually fairly even across the ground. Jack Graham having an absolute cracking game, as is Taranto versus. Uh, Salem, Oliver and Hunter. Oliver a little bit quieter in that second term after a really good term for the Tigers. So the big second half for the Tigers up against the Ds. It's a 16 point Richmond lead. It's not too bad. Baker intercepts it. Goes inside 50. Lynch is there and May just lost him in the contest. So the Tigers once again will have the breeze in this third term. This will be for four consecutive goals, and this will be for Lynch's third to push the lead out to 22 points. Kick looks great. Here come the Tigers. He's handball. Oh, it was okay, but the kick was quite dreadful. Lynch got it, put it on the shoe, and over the top is Cochin. So it's a bit of... Left to right breeze, but Cochin's kick will go right to left and then come back late and it goes straight through the middle. <laughs> it's a 28 point game. Melbourne's got to find a way to score here because Richmond are absolutely running away with this game. As you can see here, Bolton, he's got Lynch all on his own inside the 50. For a 34 point lead, he's got it. And they look Really, really good here. They've missed a trick, Melbourne, today. They just didn't put Gorn in the ruck for long enough. Grundy hasn't done enough of a job. And it's been all Richmond. Taranto from outside 50. There's another one. Oh, it's 40 points. Get him. Oh, that's a good kick, isn't it? That's through. So Melbourne finally get one back. Their first goal since the second term. No, I do not want them to score. And Curvis to Taranto. Down to Bolton. Just a high up and under footy. May and Lynch. Lynch has got the better of him again. And he goes inside 50. Hopper. Oh, I couldn't quite get it there. Jack Graham. He couldn't do it again, could he? He runs through. And he slots another one on the run. Back out to 40 points. He's having a cracking game, Jack Graham. Lynch. Didn't go there. Bolton. Inside 50. Bauer. Oh, oh. Everything is falling Richmond's way at the moment. And Bauer bends it. Through for a goal. They've got another. So three quarter time. It is Richmond by 47 points after a six goal to one third term. They really opened it up. There, after a string of seven consecutive goals between the second and third quarters. Uh, and Melbourne just could not get themselves back in the game. And since quarter time, it has been 11 goals to three 
And the Tigers will book themselves a place in the preliminary final. I don't really think I need to show you the last quarter because it's all over. He's kicked five, Lynch. Lynch, we want him. We'll get him. Lynch for number six. Sausage. Oh, for seven. For seven. Oh, they're looking for him again here. Lynch! Over the top. <laughs> He's having an absolute field day here. This for number eight. Oh, Lynch. Get in, lad. He's kicked eight. Siren finally sounds on a Richmond demon lition. A 70-point thrashing of Melbourne in the semi-final. Can you believe it? Lynch and the Tigers, 18 goals to six after quarter time. And after the first 10 goals were goal for goal, Richmond exploded in the second half. And 13 goals to four to win the game. Simply extraordinary stuff. Dominated the contested ball, dominated the clearances. The inside 50s dried up for Melbourne. And Richmond just owned the footy forward of the ball. Lynch kicked eight, eight one, and I think one on the full. In an absolutely outstanding performance. Jack Graham, 23, Tim Taranto, 20 touches. But what a day for the Tigers. They progress through to the preliminary final. They will play the Swans. And that will be a cracker, I'm sure. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all later. Like, just look at that. <laughs> Tom Lynch's game, 18 and 8. Unbelievable. So in the other semi-final, it was actually Brisbane, who again have come from 8th, and they're now in the preliminary final as well after the Crows hit the front late in, or at the beginning of the last quarter. And in that game, McCluggage had 52 possessions, uh, and Ashcroft kicked a couple as well. So your two prelim finals are locked in. Sydney and Richmond, Geelong and Brisbane should be absolute crackers. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do them in the next video. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, until next time, I'll see you all later. Enjoy the public holiday tomorrow. Bye-bye.